All right, going to do a video showing five quick and easy scriptures that refute the Calvinistic false doctrine of limited atonement. Limited atonement basically states that Jesus Christ didn't die for one, he just died for the elect. And you get some of these hyper Calvinists like over at the Westboro Baptist Church who don't even, who will say that basically you have no choice, you cannot, nothing of your own self, and God predestines those to go to hell. You know, you ha they'll, they'll say things like that. Uh, there's varying degrees, but what it really comes down to is that all of them will agree that God basically chooses and predestines people for salvation. And it's false doctrine. Jesus Christ died for everyone, not just the elect. And I could get in the whole rabbit trail on that one, but I'm going to show five quick and easy scriptures that refute that false doctrine. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 14 to 15. For the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we are then we're all dead. And that he and that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again died for all. Very plain and simple English right there. Isaiah chapter 53 and verse 6. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way and the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. Not just the, the iniquity of some or who he predestined, all. Very simple wording right there. John chapter 1 verse 29. The next day, John seeth Jesus coming unto him, and saith, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Not just of the elect, the world. That simple. Romans chapter 5, verse 18. Therefore, as by the, the offense of one just, just, sorry, judgment come upon all men to condemnation, even so by the righteousness of one, the free gift, free gift come upon all men unto the justification of life. All men not just the elect. And finally, Titus chapter 2, verse 11. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. Okay? It, you, you can't get any more simple than that. And Calvinism, of course, will, will find ways to try to twist these verses and contort them. Like one of the arguments I've heard them use is that, well, uh, Revelation chapter uh, 5 talks about every kindred, tongue, people, and nation. Therefore, that's what these verses are referring to. You know, very just totally twisting what the text is saying. It can't get any more simple than just saying all men. But of course, Calvinism is a false doctrine. It's a cult when you really get down to it. So just wanted to show you guys that four or sorry five sorry easy scriptures that refute the Calvinistic false doctrine of limited atonement. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.